Now for the backgrounds on our peacock drawings, we're going to add the beautiful fabrics found in the Renaissance. So a very popular one was the pomegranate pattern. And so it wasn't just a pomegranate, it had also pine cones, it had thistles, and um, it even had, I believe, some acorns on there. So you can see all these different intricate elements on there. And so what we're going to do is you're going to pick one of your peacocks to draw the pomegranate fabric pattern onto. And so I'm going to go ahead and this is going to be my pencil peacock drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and start drawing some of that detail on there just to kind of help you guys along. And then I also have some other really great um, fabric samples from the Renaissance that um, you are seeing right now on your screen. So get inspired by those and you can apply them to each peacock um, drawing. So. For this one, I'm going to do the pomegranate pattern, and so it has a kind of um, pine cone shape to it. So think of a pine cone, so it's going to be kind of a lumpy contour shape, like so. Okay, so think of it as like the pine cone sticking straight up. And then once we have that shape, we can go ahead and add some curvy lines on there. And then we can go ahead and add kind of more distinct little shapes on either side. And then once we have that pine cone design on there, then there's this kind of look of things are coming out from the pine cone. So now that's where we have all those different elements. We have pomegranates, we have thistles, there are some foliage in there, even some acorns. So what we can do is we're just gonna go ahead and add some leaf shapes coming out from the pine cone. Again, we wanna have kind of a little bit of a shaky hand on those. So that's all coming out behind our pine cone. And then what we can do is we can start to add some pomegranate shapes coming out. Because remember, all the things with patterns, it's repeated over and over and over. So we can go ahead and add those on there. And then we can add more leaves that are a little bit tucked behind. So on each pomegranate, I'm going to do the same or close to the same shape. And then once we have some of those leaves kind of tucked, <clears throat> tucked behind there, then we can go ahead and add a little bit of some acorns, which have kind of a disc on the top, and then they have a little bit of a point. So I'll do another one over here, so kind of a disc shape and then they come to a point. And then we can have a little stem coming down like that, like they're dangling. There we go, we can add a few more kind of leaves. And then once we've done one of those designs, what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat it all around. So you're gonna have to be careful and you're gonna have to go around your peacock. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna do another, follow the same step. So we're gonna go the acorn, I'm sorry, not the acorn, the pine cone. So we're gonna put the pine cone in here. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some of those leaves coming out. So like the pine cone is the centerpiece and then we have all these other nice natural elements surrounding. And then we can go ahead and add some of those pomegranates. And then we can add some of the acorns. And they don't have to be identical to each other, each one, but just think you're pulling the same elements into the other one. And this one's a tiny bit smaller than that one and that's totally fine. And so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna keep on going. So now this is going to be another pine cone here, and then we can add the leaves coming out. And then 
the acorns. So that's going to be for the first one, okay? And you can apply the pomegranate pattern on your pencil one, the color pencil one, or the pen and color pencil one, up to you. And then you're going to go ahead and pick another design and apply it to your background for each one. Um, so we also have the Garicha pattern, which is really nice, and it has these really vertical um, marks on there, and they are supposed to symbolize trunks on a tree. And then there's also, again, pine cones, and then they're cut into the velvet, and then the trunks are flanked by um, pomegranates, and um, they just kind of turn into each other. So it's a really interesting pattern. It's very dark, and you would not think that it had all of those symbols inside of that one pattern. Um, and then also we have the Camino pattern, and that has more of a simplified look, and it has like these lobe shapes to them. And again, they have kind of a pine cone, thistle, pomegranate, and all of those um, fruits and vegetation they all had a meaning back then, and usually it was about having a long life and um, staying healthy and happy. So all of those fruits and vegetables were really important um, back in that um, time and era of the Renaissance, which, remember, was about the late 1300s to the 1600s. Um, so go ahead, apply all of those um, patterns to your background. Make sure some of them, maybe for this one, is a bit bigger. Maybe on another one, it's a little bit smaller. If you're repeating it, it's going to take some time to do, but they're going to look beautiful by the end of it. So now on um, the bottom in the description, there's some homework. It is the um, one point perspective, okay? So some of you may have done that, might be new for some of you. So it's a beginner one point perspective. You're gonna be drawing some buildings um, and they're gonna be Renaissance inspired, okay? So some of them are gonna be Gothic, which is before the Renaissance, and then some of them are gonna be Renaissance um, style, the architecture, so it's a lot brighter and lighter, um, the colors. And so there's videos down below, so make sure after you finish this project, you go back onto this video, click the link for the homework, and it's a labeled homework, and then you can do that also for the remainder of the rest of the week. Um, nice job, you guys, and have an artful day.